Here it is. 2022 lawn care setup. Here's my truck, the 2011 Cadillac SRX. That's me just popping that trunk. I got some of my flyers back there, my advertising. Got those back seats laid down, my toolbox, some drills. I used to have a van, but the engine blew up on the van, so I had to do what I had to do. So it, it put that tow package on the back of the Cadillac. Is the 36 inch X Mark Vantage Series 3 Kawasaki engine? This thing is a tank, <clears throat> it's a tank. It can be used as a walk behind, and it also can drop down that, that piece to the left right there and be a stand on mower. Goes from 5 inches to 1 inch. Just by adjusting this pin right here. And everything in between. Just put the pin in. And drop that lever right there, right on that pin. <sighs> can choke it. You know, full throttle. I keep it in full throttle. Uh, maybe I can't really read that right there, but it look like it's over 200 miles or so. I mean, 200 hours. Can't really tell. Got it from the Amish country in Pennsylvania. Drove it all the way home to Northeast Ohio. couple years ago this is a four by six trailer from Lowe's I think I paid about 650 for it that's all I need I don't I don't carry around a bunch of mowers and a bunch of extra stuff I just need something to carry this tank on the back of that hitch four by sixes Plenty of room. I, I do small residentials and I need just the 36 inch to get in those back gates. Right now I use the Echo. I think this is the SRM 225. It's been working just fine for me with that speed feed head on there. I think that's the speed feed 400. And I just love that speed feed. This is my first year using the Echo, and I'm I really like Echo. I used to use Steels, but I'm really liking this Echo right now. I'll be honest with you. I I'm, I think I like it better than the Steel, but I'm just not sure. But so far, I really like Echo. Um, I never thought I'd switch from Steel, but I'm I'm really liking that Echo right there. No problems with it at all so far. None at all. I use the Steel BG86 handheld blower right now. I had to back the 700X backpack blower, but it went out on me after years and years of good work. That backpack blower was a good one. It just, it lasted years, but it finally went out. So, I mean, I'm, I can't complain, but now I'm just using my backup handheld blower for now. I should be getting to 800 pretty soon though. I use this battery Dewalt uh, hedge trimmer. And the reason why I like this is because it's so light. It's so light. I mean, you trim a lot of bushes. Man. I think this thing is, I think it's less than nine pounds or something. And I just slap, I got an extra battery. I just slap that battery on in there. And then if I needed to get more done, I slapped the extra battery in there and it always, I only need like two batteries. Right here, I got the Isotunes um, ear protection. 
gotta have air protection doing this especially if you doing it all the time just to prevent your ears from going bad you know it's a, they, these machines have high decibels on there and you gotta protect your ears and this isotune pro is perfect i could connect my bluetooth up to it and listen to music or listen to podcasts or even listen to lawn care um videos right on my headset while i'm working okay <clears throat> i'm getting ready to show you how, how i load up this stuff real quick it's simple and easy you know simple the more simple the better simplicity throw that on in there ah. throw the blower right next to it simple as that simple as that the head shimmer goes right in put it on in there somewhere just like that no problem and throw my ear protection right there in the toolbox it literally takes that that excuse the how a junkie the the car is but this is just me just getting busy man you know sometimes i just get busy you know i don't have time to straighten everything out and organize this is the d wall uh this is the big one that's the big one where i could take off my tires or anything with that and change blades and it fits that that same battery that was in the um the trimmer so yeah i love that d wall thing i could fix just about anything with that Here, uh, um, this is this is where I. This is headquarters right here. This is my headquarters. I pay a hundred dollars a month for the ten by ten. I keep the mower in here and I keep the trailer in here. It fits. It fits both of them just fine. Right there, I had the jack right there. That's the jack up and get some work done to jack the. Uh, the mower up and change blades or whatever I need to do with that. Here I got two backup. I have two backup. Two backup string trimmers. The FS70R. And that has. I put the. Um, I swapped out and put that speed feed head on there. On, on here. And it, it runs good. I just. I just got kind of used to that echo and I ain't gonna lie, I just just got got comfortable with that echo. Here's my other backup string trimmer, another steel. I I believe this is the FS55. FS55. It's the older, it's the older one. Older model. But uh if anything happens to that echo, I'm still in business. Just grab one of these. But I'm really liking that echo right now. So I had to put my steels up. looking through my I'm just looking through my tools that I just I gotta organize all this stuff but you know just just showing you a few extra extra pieces that's my chainsaw right there you hook that up to I got them um extension cords sometimes I gotta hook up two extension cords to get where I need to go haven't used this one time this year but I do have one I don't really take jobs where I need to do anything with a chainsaw. My strategy is get as many mowing accounts as possible. So if I need to use this, I, I usually turn it down, but I do have one. 
And if I need to pull it out, I will. If the money right, I might pull it out. This Craftsman uh, hand grinder. This is how I sharpen my blades. That's a little battery on the back of there. And since I'm working out of my uh, storage, I don't have a bench grinder anymore. So when I had a garage, I had a bench grinder. Now I live in an apartment, so I just use this handheld this handheld grinder to get the job done. It ain't no thing but a chicken wing. Ain't no thing. I'm probably getting ready to sharpen these blades up in the next day or so. And I'm gonna have a video on, on me using this. So be watching out for that. This is my, my gas can. They got these gas can heads right here at uh, Home Depot now. And ever, they don't, they, you have to try really hard to break this. You have to try really hard to break that. And the reason why I say that is because I've been having these gas cans for years and those cheap gas can heads they just break. I mean, I have to go through so many of them. They break all the time. The little gasket in there breaks so fast. Or they just break all together. But these, these particular gas can heads just last so long. That's why I like them. And I keep one of these in, in, the, in the back, in the back of my either van or truck, whatever I have at the time. They just come in handy just to, you know, knock down a branch or two just to make the customer happy. Go ahead and like this video, subscribe, and hit that bell. Peace.